here and I'm going to demonstrate the new chain signatures uh, functionality on the near testnet right now. Um, this is a boss component, so uh, all of the code for this component is uh, open source and uh, anyone can grab this um, at test.near.social um, and basically fork it and uh, play around on the near testnet. Um, what this is going to do is this is going to send Ethereum from uh, making only one transaction on the near testnet to uh, an Ethereum address on the Sepolia testnet. Um, how it generates the Ethereum address is from a path variable, kind of like an HD path on a ledger account, which is just an offset um, off of your near account ID, which is unique to you. So basically, it's going to combine my near account ID with something like uh, whatever I define here. Um, as you can see, it's regenerating Ethereum accounts. Um, basically, this account has already been funded, so I'm going to send from this account um, to this account down here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to click send, and we're going to get a payload to confirm. Um, so we're going to let the testnet signer contract uh, sign this. And basically, this is an MPC contract that will basically come up with a signature for that particular Ethereum account without anyone ever seeing the private key. Um, once this transaction is approved, we're going to be redirected back to the component with the transaction hash, and then it's going to verify a few things, and then it will broadcast that transaction. It's already broadcast that transaction uh, to the Sepolia network on, on Ethereum. So now we're looking at the uh, Sepolia um, Etherscan transaction, and we can see it's from the account that I was signing for. Um, on behalf of my near account ID plus my, my path variable, um, and then it's sending it to the account that I wanted to send it to. Now it's indexing, so it should be updated very soon, and my balance was 0 0.099 before, um, and it should be updated when this is uh, confirmed. So it's successful here, and uh, this automatically refreshes, but I'm just going to refresh the component here, and the balance should be uh, 0 0.089. Thanks for uh, taking